Here you go. Two slices of pie. Your slices are small. I'm not judging. I don't judge about most things. Thank you, Jess. Did I give you the wrong impression? <sighs> Caleb, I'm a big girl. All right? You have eyes for someone else. I'll live. Crystal, right now, my eyes are on what needs to be done. I'll live. You're better off, trust me. Listen, just don't put my daughter in the middle of any kind of professional crossfire, okay? She, she's gonna be fine and she's gonna pass the bar this time. Do you realize that she is in the middle of a very, very difficult divorce and she's trying her damnedest to keep it friendly? Well, that's not gonna be easy dealing with Junior. You see, that's my point. That's my point. You are at war with Junior, okay? I don't want her dragged in the middle of it. Neither do I. Just the fact that she works for you sends JR straight to ballistic. We've already had that conversation and she wants to stay. Now she knows how to hold her own. Just like her mother. You don't have to butter my breath. Just don't put my daughter in a situation that's gonna hurt her because if you do, you're gonna have to answer to me. Duly noted. Too small. J.R. Chandler. It's Asher. Just want to let you know that I've got a great in at Caleb Corden's place. I'm going to give the kid computer lessons. Well, that's great. So if there's anything you want me to do. Actually, I have a meeting right now. I'll have to call you back. It is out of the house, right? Yes. Good. Then maybe you can explain to me why you didn't tell me that our son got into a fight at school today. It's not that big of a deal. The other kid had to have stitches. I'm, I'm sorry. That's what boys do. They fight. Not our son. And apparently this wasn't the first time either. Ah, you spoke to the principal. Yeah, he was very happy about your donation for the new playground equipment. <laughs> Well, I just want to help. You cannot bribe the principal and make our son's problems disappear, JR. It's just a phase. No, it's not just a phase. AJ ran away, okay? He's, he's starting fights at school. AJ is in trouble. And you're overreacting. When are you going to see what the real problem is? All, all this acting out, the fighting, the bullying? Who do you think he's learning it from? Have you completely... Perfect timing. I was just about to knock. Our computers are fine. Hello, sir. Who are you? Ms. Montgomery hired me to give Miranda computer lessons. I'm an excellent teacher. I could maybe even help you out. I don't want your help. The kid's upstairs with her nanny. I'll go get her. No, I don't think. You just wait right there. I won't stoop to JR's love. Well, okay, well, you're busy doing the honorable thing. Mm -hmm. He will blindside you with something that you can't come back from. JR is addictive. He is impulsive. He will make a mistake. So we do nothing? No, we watch, we wait, and we prepare. Oh, come on, Scott. Seems a little passive to me. I mean, why don't we go on the attack instead of just waiting for the next JR bomb to explode in our faces? Annie, I'm not saying we don't fight, but I will not compromise myself or who I am any more than I already have. Did you at least talk to Caleb? Oh, yeah, he had a very interesting proposition. What was it? It doesn't matter. I turned him down. Now, promise me no more going behind my back. I was just trying to help. It's just because I love you so much. And, and I want you to get everything that you deserve. And I just figure if I can help make that happen, maybe I should try to... No, you don't have to. You're just the most amazing man. And you've given me and Emma the most amazing life. I just want to give back to you. I want to take care of you the way that you've taken care of us. I'm sorry, okay? I was just trying to help. You're not that mad, are you? Mm -hmm. Come here. <laughs> I didn't think so. 
<laughs> you can't blame me for AJ fighting. Well, maybe he could have talked his way out of it, but that's not what his father does, is it? Caleb provoked me. Oh, yeah, and you couldn't wait to jump down his throat. I was defending myself. And you know what? If AJ is being bullied, then maybe he does need to stand up for himself. Oh, so you're proud that our son put another kid in the hospital? Of course not. Do you know what it was like to be David Hayward's daughter and to hear all the terrible things that people said about him? You know, they didn't exactly throw rose petals for Adam Chandler. Uh, yes, exactly. You suffered because of Adam's sins. I mean, he hurt people and it made you miserable. Is that really what you want for our son? You know, you may not agree with my methods, but everything I do is to protect this family. AJ is my first priority, and I have been there for him since he lost his real mother. Now, are you gonna let me handle JR my way? Yes. Thank you. But if you would just consider the Caleb thing an option, Scott, wow. Europe is really, really far away. Annie? And apparently, Caleb was like a total shark of a lawyer in LA, like a real barracuda. So, if JR underestimates Caleb, and Caleb's on our side... But we're just as vulnerable to him. If we let him into Chandler, we give him access. And if we give him access, he could find out that I stole the nanotech plans from Palmer. We lose everything. I go to prison. That's only if he finds out. And you have been very careful not to leave a trail behind you. If it means beating JR at his own game, isn't the risk worth a gamble? Please, Scott. For me. I'm sorry, Marissa. I, I didn't mean it the way that it sounded. You're AJ's mother in every possible way. It's fine, I know what you meant. He loves you. He's totally connected to you. You know, I have a meeting with Caleb and I'm late. You've been spending a lot of time with that guy. Yeah, well, the bar exam is tomorrow. But do you not get why he's your best study buddy? It's because he's out to get me. in a minute. How long have you lived here? Nice family. Who is he? He used to be my family. So be down in a minute. Constructive trust. Equitable restitutionary remedy to reach product of assets wrongfully appropriated through fraud, mistake, or breach. That's the last of them. You did miss one. Oh, well, it was a really good idea to study outside. The fresh air cleared my head. Well, I don't think we want to do that. We want to fill your head with torts and case law. <laughs> Hello? Yep, actually he's right here. You really need to get a cell phone. Who is it? Scott. Yes? Caleb. Scott Chandler. Listen, I reacted to your offer a little too hastily earlier. I'd like to discuss it further if it's still on the table. I think that could be arranged. Sasha, you free now? Yeah, I can talk now. I'm in front of Caleb Cortland's computer, wondering if there was anything you needed. I might need you for more than just hacking. Are you up for that? Whatever you need, 
I'm in. Okay, 